Hi, sorry for the slightly late start, but uh, I'm Tess and I'm here to talk to you a little bit about baby massage today. So we have, uh, what I was planning to do was to talk a little bit about baby massage um, and then we'll do a little bit of a demonstration on some, some strokes and things that you can use. So why baby massage? Well, baby massage um, can be really relaxing for babies. So trying to help babies get to sleep and get them soothed. So that can be really good from that point of view and who doesn't want a, a nice relaxed, soothed baby. It can also be really good for sort of bonding, um, especially if you're finding the early days with your baby difficult. Um, and so it can be really good for bonding and there's some lovely sort of songs that you can sing along with the baby massage. Um, and it's also really good for sort of soothing certain ailments with babies. So really good for tummy issues, which I think probably lots of people know about um, baby massage for, for tummy issues. But also really good for sort of sore limbs and sort of sore muscles and things. So sort of growing pains. Um, and it can also be really good for things like um, glue ear. Um, and so sort of massage on the face can be really helpful for different things as well. And just sort of helping clear out um clear out the system and things so it can be really good for sort of helping put weight on and things for very little babies so one of the things i actually like about having gone online to do baby massage is that it's um it's something that's th that you can do when you're pregnant as well so there's no reason to not to learn how to do baby massage before baby comes along um so you, you can be sort of ready to do baby massage as soon as you like. So for most baby massage classes, they tend to sort of say sort of between six weeks and six months. Um, but you can you can really do it at any age. It tends to be um, prior to six weeks, you quite often got babies who sleep a lot. And so the opportunity to do baby massage is, um, is certainly restricted and can be can be trickier to do. But um, Certainly some of my mums have come with, uh, with younger babies and some people actually do baby massage in sort of prem baby units and it can really help. Um, it can help with digestion and it can help um, with weight gain. Um, and so it's been really good for weight gain. So really good from that point of view as well. Um, after six months, once babies start to get mobile, it just gets trickier to learn. Um, it's trickier to sort of pin babies down. Um, I had a group who wanted to do the baby massage as a group together and we kept delaying starting it and by the time they started all the babies were rolling over and it's much more difficult to, to get a group of people together and, and do baby massage if you've got a baby that's moving but the strokes that you learn in baby massage you can carry on and you can do them with your children as as they grow and in fact once some of what i'm going to do today um is actually things that you can actually do on yourself so you could uh, get your partner to to do some of that as well and so for mums, baby massage is really nice to do um, because, as I say, it does help bonding. And if you're if you're struggling, if you're struggling with low mood, postnatal depression, baby massage can be quite good for that as well. Um, so I would really encourage people to to give that a try. Um, and if you you know if you're really feeling like going to a class, um, it's something that you're not ready for yet, then. Um, a one-to-one -one session can be quite good but again that's that's another good thing about doing it online is that you can you, you know if you're not really ready to, to be around everybody um, that you can you can just watch it from the and do it from the, the comfort of your own home so what do we need for baby massage well we just need a nice surface to put babies on we're sitting on my bed here today um, I was going to do it in the quiet of my room because I've got sort of quite a full house with uh, three other people in the house um, but I couldn't get it to work on the computer, so I have enlisted the help of one of my children. So I have Rosie holding holding my phone for the camera today. Um, but sitting on the floor on a changing mat with a towel on top, that can be really, you know, if you can get nice and comfy. So you want to be somewhere that, that there's no drafts. You want the room to be nice and warm, obviously, because you're going to take the clothes off. Um, but you want to make sure that you're comfortable as well. This tends to be a comfortable position for me to sit in. Quite often, what a nice sort of position to sit in with a baby is to sit with your feet like this, and you can almost make a little nest to put the baby in into. Um, 
but it's very important to make sure that you're comfy as well um, because this is supposed to be uh, a really nice experience for you as well. Um, oils to use. Um, I tend to use uh, grapeseed oil um, but other ones that we use are fractionated coconut oil and in fact if you've got the solid um, coconut oil um, in your in your kitchen you can actually just use that you rub it in your hands until it's it's gone liquid and you can use that as well or um, sweet almond oil is quite nice as well so, but you want to make sure it is a, a vegetable based oil that you're using not a petroleum based one so you don't want to use sort of baby oil because you want to just have it really natural for for babies um, and so what I thought I would do today is start off by doing some some massage on baby's legs um, and show you some strokes there and I know that for a lot of mums um, dealing with tummy issues with babies is uh, is quite an issue so we'll do some strokes on the legs today and then we shall go through some on the tummy and uh, and see how you feel so if you are doing this on your baby some babies really take to baby massage really quickly um, other babies they need to sort of get used to it um, and and you need to you need to practice you know part of that's use them getting used to it and um, part of it is about building your confidence so if you find that your baby doesn't sort of seem to like it the first time I would sort of say you know keep going keep practicing and um, and hopefully you know, babies will get will get used to that. So if you've got some some oil, you just put some oil on your hands and rub your hands together. And this is usually a sort of a trigger for babies. They then sort of recognise that as as baby massage is going to start. And we usually ask our babies if they would like a massage. Would you like a massage today? And um, which is a really nice thing to do because although it might feel a bit silly when they're very little, hopefully these are skills that you will take forward as your child gets older and it's really a nice habit to get into to ask them because obviously it's their body and they can say no but it also opens them up to the idea that they can come and ask you for a baby massage as well so what we're going to start with is what we call milking and so if you just hold the baby's leg at the top and then just stroke down the leg and there's no so the right number of times to do this you just do, do it as many times as you like and then we take that up and over the feet and over the toes so now that we've come down onto the feet I just want to point out one of the reasons I decided to do this today is that the bit that we're going to do on the foot is the same as I would do with an adult. So if you want to show this video to your partner and ask them to give you a nice foot massage then they can follow along with this as well. So we're going to stroke over the top of the foot and then we're going to go onto the foot. Now I'm going to bend my baby's leg in a way that you won't and um, just so that you can see what I'm doing. So we're going onto the foot and what we're going to do is going to slide our thumb from the heel down to the toe. So you're using quite firm pressure just from the heel down to the toe. And I'm just going to do that another time. And then we're going to do clockwise circles around the arch of the foot here. Now, if you want to think about pressure points, the, this point on the baby's foot relates to the digestive system. So you want to keep that motion going round in a clockwise direction. And if you're feeling like singing a song, you can sing round and round the garden. Let's go round and round the garden like a teddy bear. One step, two step, tickly under there. I'm getting laughed at by my daughter now. And then what we're going to do is press all over the foot. So just using your thumbs and just working your way backwards and forwards over the baby's foot so you cover every single point on that baby's foot 
just pushing down as you go across. And this is very relaxing. It is really nice if you can get somebody to do this for you as well. So once you've finished going over the whole of the foot, we're just then going to move on to the toes and we're going to squeeze each toe. So just give each toe a little bit of a squeeze. And we can sing this little piggy. So this little piggy went to market and this little piggy stayed at home. Seems very um, relevant at the moment. This little piggy had roast beef and this little piggy had none. And this little piggy went wee 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 all the way home. Okay. And then we're going to move on to the other leg. So we're going to put a little bit more oil on our hands. And we're going to repeat what we just did on the other leg. So just bringing the hand down. And take it over the top of the foot to the toes. Then we are going to do our thumb slide. So sliding the thumb from the heel down to the toes. And giving it a nice sort of firm pressure. If you're doing it on adult, what you could do, because obviously the, the area is larger, is you could just alternate thumb pressure going down the foot to the toes. There's another way that you could do it, and that's very nice as well. And then we're going to do our circles round and round. So round and round the garden like a teddy bear. One step, two step, tickly under there. And then we'll just move on to the toes. This little piggy went to market. This little piggy stayed at home. This little piggy had roast beef. And this little piggy had none. And this little piggy went wee 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 all the way home. So that's an introduction to some of the legs and feet ones. As I say, the feet ones are really nice to be done for adults. So what I thought I would do now is give you a little um, a little routine that you can do if you've got a baby who's got um, digestive issues, has got constipation, or um, to try and sort of alleviate colic. Um, so what we can do for this one is we can do what we call scoop. So you get your flat of your hand, and then you're going to use you're really going to use this part of your hand, and you're just going to scoop down like this so the pressure is on that that side of your hand so a little bit of a scooping motion and do that a few times and then we'll get their little legs and we're gonna push them in and give them a wee bounce and then we're going to go back to tummy and this time we're actually going to hold their legs up a little bit and we're going to do the scoop You're going to see a little bit of a theme to this. We're going to do that for a little bit and then we're going to go back to the legs. And so we're going from working on the tummy to their legs. And then we're going to do we're going to do a, a motion here. Now on my baby that's its tummy button. And so we're going to get our fingers on this hand and we're just going to do a motion that goes up and round. And what we like to do with this is we go, I love you. You can, or you could use your baby's name. I love Rosie. Rosie happens to be holding the camera. I love Rosie. And then we're going to get the legs, and we are going to go in and out again. So we are going to, and we can sing the rowing song. So we can go row, row, row your boat, 
gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Row, row, row the boat gently down the stream. If you see a crocodile, don't forget to scream. So that's just a sort of a quick thing to do. You can do that sort of at nappy change time. So yeah, at nappy change time, sort of um, two to three times a day. So it's sort of really a sort of preventative uh, measure. Um, but what I would say with doing massage on tummies, you want to make sure that it is um, 20 to 30 minutes after a feed. Um, because, you know, otherwise that would be uncomfortable. So that's just a sort of brief introduction to the whole area of, of baby massage. Um, it is a lovely thing to do with, with, your, with your baby. And, um, and I think at this time when we're not getting to, to cuddle and, and hug the people necessarily we want to at the moment, it's really nice to be able to do something that's nice and tactile with, with our babies. You also get to sort of get to know their bodies in a way as well, um, because you will be you'll learn to do the massage all over their bodies. You do leg massage and then there's tummies and then you've got the chest and the arms and you can do some head and face massage and then back massage. So that is really nice to do as well. And, um, and you can also introduce something called story massage into your, into your baby massage routines as well. Um, and that's something I can perhaps maybe come on and talk about another time. All right. Um, if you have got any questions, do post them um, and I will come on afterwards and I have a look at any questions and uh, get back to anybody. All right. Thanks very much.